The news here, a man was shot after confronting someone trying to steal a catalytic converter from underneath his car. WGN's Kelly Davis is live in Rogers Park where it happened with the latest. Kelly. Ray and Micah, police say this has been a growing problem on the north side, specifically in Rogers Park as well as Albany Park and Jefferson Park. They've dealt with dozens of catalytic converter thefts over the past month or two, and this is the second time in just two weeks someone has been shot trying to stop it. It's, it's definitely unsettling to have this happen like right in front of your door. Christy Labora woke up to the sound of gunfire around 6 o'clock this morning. It's not uncommon to hear gunshots in Chicago. Normally, they're a little farther away. These sounded a lot closer, as we know they were. When she looked outside her window, this is what she saw. Police taped off Oakley Avenue just north of Tui to investigate a shooting. They say a 55-year-old was walking up to his car, a white Toyota Prius, when he saw someone underneath trying to steal his catalytic converter. He actually approached them, and uh, they shot him because he managed to try to stop them from taking his catalytic converter. Police say the man was shot twice and taken to St. Francis Hospital in fair condition. It appears several shots were fired. Two more ended up hitting another car on the block. From what we've heard, he was shot in the elbow in one arm and the wrist in the other, but he is in good condition and he's going to make, make a recovery, which is really good to hear because it could have gone a lot worse. CPD has been warning people about a rise in catalytic converter thefts for months. The price of precious metals has skyrocketed, so the car part can be sold for about $150. Rhodium uh, has really driven catalytic converter thefts, particularly in cars manufactured uh, with a high um, amount of rhodium like Prius and others. Police say you should never confront offenders and neighbors are taking note. That if you see that, uh, the cops even said like just turn around and walk away and call them. Do not approach this because they will shoot you if you try to stop them. Police are still look, looking for the shooter this evening. Now, this building behind me is lined with ring cameras, but neighbors I spoke with say none of them are set to record, so they are unable to capture this uh, shooting on camera. I also spoke with the owner of the building who says there are no security systems in place, but he is looking into installing a security system with cameras so they can see footage of anything that happens on this block. Reporting live from Rogers Park, I'm Kelly Davis, WGN News.